Hi, welcome for RTL Online Trainings and Placements. Uh, we are based out in Hyderabad and uh, Bangalore. We are providing the training and real-time training, placement services, normal batch and corporate batches in Oracle Fusion Cloud, both functional and technical, like financial supply chain management, human capital management, this. So if you are looking for some training or placement or your friends or colleagues, anybody is looking for that, you can refer us. Please check our quality of the videos which we are providing and demo options. So before joining the course, you can go for attend two, three demo sessions. After that, you can go for confirmation for the training. So in this session, I'm going to explain how to set the items for the sales order. Generally, we have different options like GOP process and all. Sometimes uh, what happened whenever we go for uh, order management module and try to create a sales order here, it is when we go for uh, sales order, order management option here. So when we try to create a sales order, yeah, we used to enter the customer name and business unit at header level, and we will be able to find a customer ship to as well as bill to bill to account. And this is all we are going to have. And line level, we are going to choose the item name, quantity, price, uh, and we will find, of course, the price comes as per the price list. And if there are any Discounts are there as per the discount list. Uh, we are going to have it here. So when we go for uh, header level here, that seems the instance is a little bit slow here. Here, whenever we try to create a uh, sales order we used to select customer name here so let's say for example business world and then business unit so we are going ahead with the us1 business unit here and then we'll find a customer bill to account these details we are going to fill up here in case if we get any purchase order number from the customer for the sales we can go for enter that customer PO, whatever customer has given the purchase order for us, that, that we will find here. So we'll choose the bill to account here. Oh, sorry, this is US1 business unit one. Somebody has changed, no problem. See, I'm not getting the item names here. See, this field is disabled right now. So what is the reason behind that is for this business unit, for this business unit, we have not assigned any item organization. It means we have not enabled any inventory organization for this. Okay, let me go for another business unit here. So if I select US1 business unit here and choose the item name here, we can find. See, we'll be able to get the field here. And we are going to get the items from the inventory whatever is associated. So where do we get, like uh, whenever we choose the business unit uh, and if the item field is disabled, so from where we have to configure this. So for this, we need to cross check in uh, order management parameters. In order management parameters, we have to cross check from FSM environment. So, so where we have to do, let's go to our uh, setup and maintenance. And we go for setup and maintenance here. We can go for global search. Let's go to global search here. And here you can find order management parameters. Go to the task here. In order management parameters, a lot of other parameters we have, like customer relationship type. Uh, whether the customer is having single customer or you'll be having related customers here. We need to work with this particular parameter called 
item validation uh, organization. Here we will choose the business unit name for that business unit from which inventory organization the items needs to be populated that we will specify here. For example, right now US1 business unit one, that business unit does not have the items, right? So what we'll do is US1 business unit one. Choose this business unit one from which inventory organization items you would like to go for pull it here from let's say 001 settle. That's what we are going to specify. And we can go for save and close. A lot of other parameters are there which are very, very important when we are working in order management. So whenever we say when we choose the business unit, we are not getting the list of items and in fact. The item field is disabled at sales order line level. Uh, what could be the reason? We need to cross check this here. Item validation, organization, order management parameters. Now we'll go for cross check. Let's go to order management and try to create a sales order by selecting the business unit. Let's go to create order option here. And now we are going for US1 business unit here. US1 business unit one. Now we can see that the field has been populated and we can find the item names also from the inventory organization called 001, settle inventory organization items will be populated. So that, that's what the thing. So sometimes when we are doing practice or when we are working in the project, whenever we say that sales order line level, this item field is uh, disabled, then the reason is this behind. So we have to cross check here. Thank you. Please subscribe for our channel to get the latest updates about cloud technologies in all the domains, finance, supply chain management, human capital, technical integrations. And uh, please refer our channel to all our Oracle community, cloud community to get more knowledge about this. Thank you.